Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to today's Big North primetime matchup between the White Tails from Indiana Fornson and the Fighting Muskrats from Bluffton Tech University. Bluffton Tech coming into today's game ranked number 10 in the nation, whereas the White Tails are now sitting at number 22 thanks to a tough loss to the Iowa Institute of Technology over the course of last week. Either way, it should be a very good matchup between these two Big North teams with aspirations for conference titles and a potentially a trip to the college football playoff. So if you're excited about today's primetime action, make sure you smash that like button, hit subscribe if you have to be new. Let's go ahead and see these two very good football teams face off. So with all that being said, it is now officially time to get this game underway between the White Tails of Indiana Fordin and the Bluffton Tech Fighting Muskrats should be some good Big North action as Damon Roberts is going to scramble out of the pocket early and often. Don't know how he picked up as many yards as he did, but managed to pick up some good yards. A seven yard gain on that one. As speed in which there's Roberts again who is out like a cannon. A quarterback keeper able to work extremely well. The Fighting Muskrats already in plus territory. But they will be facing a third and long on the 11 yard line. Can Bluffton Tech go ahead and pick up some points here? You know, in their very first drive of the game, Roberts dropping back to pass. Going to try to scramble one more time, but he is going to be just short. A nice gain, but they had to punt the ball away. And so, you know, some free and outs. Bluffton Tank did manage to pick up a fuel goal a little bit later. So the, the Fighting Muskrats do enjoy a free to nothing lead, you know, midway through this first quarter. As we do pick up on the set next drive for the Fighting Muskrats, Damon Roberts will once again drop back the pass. This time, throwing it over to the middle. He's got Davis. He's got him for a huge gain as well. A huge first down that takes him to just the edge of the red zone. So let's see. Another first and ten. Roberts dropping back on a throw to the right. No, he's going to scramble to the right-hand side actually. Nearly picks up another first down for the Fighting Muskrats. As Damon Roberts and company continues to drive downfield. Getting it to one of his favorite targets in Mason Paul in the process. As here we go again, second and ten now. A couple plays later, Roberts dropping back, going to try to scramble towards the end zone, but he's going to be knocked down just shy. Going to be about the five-yard line on this third and three. Basically a third and goal situation for Damon Roberts. He tries to throw over the end zone, but it's incomplete. As they will go ahead and settle for the field goal, unfortunately. Bluffton Tech going to have to settle for three more points. Not exactly how you want to do it, but look at this. He misses the kick, though. And so it turns and, you know, could have been a touchdown, but instead did not come away with any points whatsoever on that drive. And now the Whitetails will take over. It's still just a three to nothing game. The number 22 team in the nation still very much in it at this juncture of the ball game so far as we'll come back to them first and 10 on the 40 yard line Hunter going to drop back the pass and throw over the middle to a nice receiver in Marquise Brown who picks up eight yards is now second and two going up to Landon Phillips one of the best running backs in the ACSA and you can see why he was able to find some nice running room against a very good Bluffton Tech defense. But the drive could stall though. They can't go to the run forever. Third and nine. They're going to have to pass it here once they got something up their sleeve. No, they don't. Hunter driving back on a throw to the left hand side. Gets it to Brown again. But this time it is well short of the marker. And so a low scoring game so far here late in the first quarter. You know, not too terribly much happening right now. We'll see if either team can pick it up on the offensive end. As Roberts will drop back the pass on their next drive. Has plenty of running room to work with. They really need to employ a quarterback spy. I don't know why they're not putting a quarterback spy. But regardless, 
Darius Roberts already with 100 yards of total offense between the passing and running. And he's going to add on to that total as well as he has another huge hole to work with. It's a first down for the Muskrats. As they're across midfield now. Another first and 10. Roberts throwing over the middle. He's got a man. He's got White in the end zone. Touchdown, Bluffton Tech. As the fighting Muskrats now starting to slowly but surely take control of this game a 10 to nothing game right now and now the white tails need to respond second and 10 on their ensuing possession as they mess up the exchange and bluffton tech recovers so a huge change of momentum in favor of the fighting muskrats as bluffton tech starts on the 10 yard line this could get ugly quickly if the White Tails do not get the stop that they need. So this third and nine could be very big right now for both squads, actually. As Roberts will drop back the pass, throw to the left hand side, gets it to Polanski as he ends in the end zone. Touchdown, Bluffton Tech. And that's how this first quarter ends. Bluffton Tech already taking a very commanding lead of 17 to nothing. We'll see if they can keep it up, though, as we are about to start the second quarter of this ball game now. Bluffton Tech still with the football following a free and out by the Whitetails. So let's see if they can continue to build on that 17-0 lead as Adrian Lemski made the catch for Bluffton Tech. And there's Polanski again, who has the touchdown earlier, now has some more yards to add to that total of first down for the Bluffton Tech fighting Muskrats. As they continue to move it forward. But look at this. There's a fumble and Mason Paul gets it. And no one really brought him down. So Mason Paul moves forward for a gain of 9 yards. Don't know why he wasn't marked down. But sometimes it's just better to be lucky than it is to be good. As even when it looked like everything was about to go wrong for Bluffton Tech on that play. They still managed to nearly pick up a first down. That basically... Describes this game so far in general as Bluffton Tech has been in complete control of this game. Now with another goal line situation, a third and goal waiting for them. Damon Roberts lining up under uh, center. Going to throw over the middle too and gets another touchdown to White. His second receiving score of this ball game. And Bluffton Tech, man, looking pretty damn good. Up 24 to nothing, and we're not even done with the first half yet. The White Tails certainly did not come to play, or we are just witnessing for the very first time just how good Bluffton Tech is. Maybe showing that they deserve a lot better than that number 10 ranking. But we'll see how the rest of this game goes. They do have a third and seven. White Tails need to convert here. Hunter under shotgun, going to drop back the pass and throw to the right-hand side. A beautiful out route to Cody Osh, who does get him across the 50-yard line for a first down. That will help get the White Tails moving a little bit. As Hunter will drop back again, this time throwing to the opposite side of the field and finds Evan Brown across the 30-yard line for another first down. The White Tails putting together their first very good drive. As they have another third down once again. This might be their third one, and yet they still convert again. Indiana Fortin starting to find their footing on offense finally. Hopefully it's not too late, though. As Hunter faces another first and goal. Going to try to throw over the middle. It's incomplete. Deflected away. Was very lucky to not be picked off. As they'll try again another second and goal. This time that pass was even worse than the first one. So now a third and goal, sitting at the 10 yard line, you would have expected some forward progress by now, but that has not happened for the Whitetails. So basically a third and long and things get very tight down in this part of the field. They're going to throw to the right hand side though, find Moses, who parts the Red Sea and finds the end zone. Touchdown Whitetails. And Indiana Fortin finally gets themselves on the board, cutting this thing down to 17 points. As Bluffton Tech still, despite that touchdown, still lead 24-7. And they have the ball with three minutes left here in the second quarter. So they can add to this lead once again as they're going deep and finds Lebr LeBron for a huge gain downfield. You love to see that if you are a Bluffton Tech fan. 
As Roberts once again coming up, throwing. Well, Bond can he get into the end zone? No, he's going to be eaten up at the two-yard line. The inside the five-yard line monster eating him up there. As two plays later, Damon Roberts takes a shot. So that gives the Whitetails defense a little bit of breathing room to work with. As now on this third and goal, Roberts getting his troops ready. Roberts dropping back. Go to get to the right-hand side. Get it to Sawaba. Who finds the end zone himself. Another touchdown for Bluffton Tech. And we go into halftime. 31-7. to What a huge statement game that this football team is making right now. And you know what the scary part is right now is that Bluffton Tech has the ball to start the second half. And Mason Paul has some room to work with. He only had one more defender to beat. They could have easily broken that for six, but was brought down. And so here we go. Second and 13, two plays later. Roberts hits he's thrown, still gets a beautiful ball out to Davis, who has some great yards after the catch for the first down. And so here we go. Second and six, thrown to the right-hand side to Sawaba, who gets out of bounds and gets almost to the red zone as well. A nice gain, you know, for the wide receiver. As now, first and ten, Roberts dropping back, has time to make a sandwich. Going to try to scramble upfield and manages to pick up five yards. Despite what seems to be very contested area, they had a spy and he still managed to pick up five. That's what's crazy about the whole thing. As the Fighting Muskrats continue to drive downfield, third and five. Let's see if they can pick it up, though. As Roberts, under shotgun, ready to take the snap. Going to drop back the pass again. Going to throw over the middle and finds Davis for a nice catch down at the three-yard line. Bluffton Tech looking to continue to build this lead. We'll see if they'll be successful with it, though, as Roberts is looking around. Has all day and is going to just run it in himself. Going to cover all my receiver. Is It is all good in the hood. We're just going to go ahead and run it ourselves. So Bluffton Tech now enjoys a 38-7 lead currently. As the Whitetails just have looked lost so far today. They, you know, took a tough loss last week. You know, to the Iowa Institute of Technology in their previous matchup. And now they're playing a lot worse. Another ACSA primetime game. You know, really got to worry about the Whitetails. You know, you know, if they're really a top 25 team or not. Especially if they continue to play like this. If they don't start chipping into this lead. But for right now, they are across the 50-yard line once again. A first and 10 as Cody Osh finds all by himself, actually, is able to get away from the Bluffton Tech defenders. That's a nice gimme score for the White Tails that they really needed. So they find the end zone for the second time today, cut into his deficit once again. And now it's 38-13, to 13, but look at this. They're actually going to go ahead and go for two here to try to cut into this lead further. We'll see if it works out for him as they actually decide to pass it. Hunter looking around. is going to try to run to the... No, he's actually going to throw it. Contested area, but Kodiash comes down with it. So the two-point conversion is good, but Bluffton Tech still with a commanding lead, though. 38-15. to So still a lot of work that left to be done as there was a huge throw on the next drive, or at least to start the next drive for Bluffton Tech. Davis already got him to midfield once again. But two plays later, the drive could stall out for Bluffton Tech. You know, they haven't really seen that too often from the Bluffton Tech football team. As Robert's going to try to pick up the first down, but only gets back to the original line of scrimmage. So they do get a stop on defense. So who knows? Maybe things can get a little interesting here. There's still quite a bit of football left to play. It's not an insurmountable lead. Although it doesn't look good for the Whitetails still, despite the recent change of effects. So they still got to go and pick up some points on this drive here. Regardless of whether it's a field goal or a touchdown. As there's Miller going to be able to slice through there. A tough run up the middle. A power dive. As now third and two. We'll see if they run it. They do with Miller. But they can't get to the first down marker. So the drive stalls again. And while the Whitetails do end up picking up that field goal, it's still a 38-18 ball game. Bluffton Tech still looking very dominant. 
as Roberts will drop back the pass, go to the left hand side, get it to LeBron for a nice gain. We'll see if they'll continue to try to pass it as Roberts is in the pocket again. This time getting chased, but there's a man downfield and finds White. Uh, facing pressure, still calmly able to deliver a good football. And you saw it there, Damon Roberts, one of the best quarterbacks in all of America right now within the ACSA. Really putting it on full display, not making any mistakes against the top 25 team. Their first top 25 opponent that Bluffton Tech has faced this season. And they certainly have looked apart so far. But we'll see if they keep it going. Third and five coming up. Going to try to run it with Mason Paul, who is just short of the marker. So Bluffton Tech will have to go ahead and uh, settle for a field goal. Long field goal, nonetheless. You know, but Bluffton Tech offense slowing down a little bit. Still leading 41 to 18. Just got to, you know, make sure the defense does what it needs to do. As Hunter's able to make a big play. Able to get out of the pocket and get a really nice first down. So, here we go. First and ten. Hunter, can he get another drive going? No! It's intercepted by Young. Bluffton Tech, the defense, doing what it needs to do and giving this explosive offense. Now with some great room as they try to go deep on the first play. It's incomplete. And so now, second and ten. Roberts going to the right-hand side with Mason Paul. Got a few guys behind him and finally get brought down from behind. But in the red zone, none of the less, though. As another first, ten, first and ten ensues. Roberts going to the left-hand side. Goes to Harrell. Makes a man miss. Can he get into the end zone? Oh, he's going to be brought down at the one-yard line. And so third quarter is done in Bluffton Tech. Has a 41-18 lead right now. It's just one of those things. If they get into the end zone, we might sim out because it does not look pretty. And look what happens. Mason Pauls finds the end zone. I'll catch you guys at the end of the game, man. Skimming the fourth quarter. This game mercifully ends for the White Tails as they fall to the Bluffton Tech. Finding Muskrats by a final score of 55-21. Bluffton Tank out on a mission, and it certainly showed in its first primetime game appearance here in the ACSA series. A great win for Bluffton Tank as they improve to 6-0 on this season, whereas the White Tails tank for a second consecutive loss this year, now falling to 4-2. Tomorrow's primetime game will be this time at 6 p.m. Eastern tomorrow, and we'll keep it in the Big North Conference. Going to be watching Hiwafa College who is coming into that rack matchup, I believe number 13 in the nation, going on the road to play against Detroit State, who is recovering from a loss themselves and has fallen all the way down to number 24. Detroit State needs a win in order to remain in the top 25. We'll see if it happens, but in the meantime, if you enjoyed today's ACSA content, make sure you smash that like button as well as hit subscribe if you happen to be brand new to the channel. This is John Jay Gaming on the mic. Hoping you guys are all having a wonderful day. Take care, everybody.